So we're gonna go from Blender to Unreal Engine using good old Decal Machine. Hey, like and subscribe, do it. So first up, obviously we have to create something with decals. So I am just going to just put something together just so we can slap some things together. Well done, Marco, that's just great English. Let's do D, a slice. Um, and then we will do, let's add in one of these. Just come over into material mode, shift D like so, uh, let's do a D. So I'm just going through my custom ones that I've created so far, just to kind of like prove that point around using your own. And we'll do one more, there we go, beautiful. So this is what we've got so far. What we're gonna do from here is select everything. We're gonna press N to bring up the side panel and we're gonna come down into decal machine somewhere. There it is. Let's turn off the help and we're gonna go into export the decals. Let's go use atlases. I'm just gonna go per parent. I want the textures and they're just gonna go kind of like into a default folder for now, which we can click and it'll open up that location. And I've got that open at the moment in Windows Explorer. What we're gonna need is probably the alpha, the ambient occlusion. We don't have any roughness, softness, metallic, that's fine. I'm not gonna worry about the channel pick. Now that's more important if you wanna put in a whole bunch of textures together but I kind of just want to go with this for now. So we've got the main things that we want. Let's now go ahead and click export. And then also I'm going to select everything. Let's go export FBX, FBX decal number two, number eight, export selected, export over into Unreal Engine. This is kind of just like my testing environment. First up, we've got our textures that we've um, exported already. Let's just bring that folder directly into Unreal Engine. Then also the location of our FBX, decal number two, export that. And we're just gonna import all by default. Sweet candy. Now we can see that we've got multiple meshes and that's because we didn't combine them, which is fair enough. I'll do a future video around exporting models from Blender and some of the tips and tricks you need to know. But for now, let's go with this. There we go. So the first one that we're gonna fix up is this doesn't have a material. It's got a world grid material. Let's just throw on um, brush nickel, cause we can. Back into materials, let's go into Markham 3D Atlas. And then we're just gonna work backwards now. So we let's get rid of the default color. Come to the textures, so Markham 3D, here we go. Let's do alpha. We can see that we cannot put it in the alpha. So we're gonna change the material surface to deferred decal and translucent. Let's do opacity. Let's do our normals, sRGB, there we go. And if we were to click apply, we can already see that now we've got our decal. Now it's not gonna be the exact same as Blender, but it's gonna bring some of that information across. We've also got our ambient occlusion here. We can throw that in just to give it a little bit extra oomph. Let's apply. And that is pretty much it. Because of the fact that this bolt doesn't have a color, there is no diffuse down here. So if we were to open up, uh, let's select our second material, test cube, example, Atlas. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Material domain, we change to deferred decal, translucent into our textures. Alpha goes into opacity. Ambient occlusion goes into Ambient occlusion marker, good try. There we go, normal, and we can go apply. Some decals here, so we're gonna crack this one open as well, and so these are the decals that I've created. Let's go into normal, and then we'll go into alpha as well. Surface deferred, that one into opacity, apply, and now we can see my decals.